composite design pattern. The composite design pattern allows you to represent individual entities and groups of entities in the same manner. It's a structural design pattern that lets you compose objects into a tree. It's great if you need the option of swapping hierarchical relationships around, makes it easier for you to add new kinds of components, provides flexibility of structure. I'll let you read the rest. What I'm going to do is show you the most famous example of the application of the composite design pattern. And that is File Explorer, folder A, B, C. So folder A can go into folder B, folder B can go into C. I can swap them around. I can go like this, I can swap them around. I can create new objects, such as a text document. And text document easily be placed into folder C. Okay, in this folder C, or taken out and put into folder A. And then we can go down here and put folder B into folder A. And folder A, folder B. And that is an application of the composite design pattern. Another example is in a drawing program. Say you want to draw a box and you want to add a circle and they're two separate entities but we can group those two entities group and now they are a composite so I can move them both around let's start coding first thing I'm going to do is create a new file called called composite.py in that file I'm going to add the abstract meta classes I'm going to create an example which most closely resembles the drawing application I just showed. So I'm going to have an interface called iGraphic, and this is the entity, the, the entity interface with one method called print, and that's an abstract static. I'm going to create one entity called an ellipse, which implements the iGraphic interface and it prints the word ellipse. I'll create another entity called a circle, which also implements the iGraphic interface and print circle. Okay, that's good. Now let's create a composite, which also implements the iGraphic interface. Okay, so class composite graphic implements iGraphic has an int has an init self dot graphics equals a list so this is going back to our image we're creating our composite which has an aggregate or a list or a collection of entities add a method to add entities so child dot graphics dot append a graphic and because it implements the iGraphic interface we must add the print method so let's do that now print self for each of the child entities in the child graphics we'll, we'll run its print method so let's create a client that uses all that so I'm going to create an ellipse ellipse one equals an ellipse let's create a circle a circle one equals a circle and for ellipse we can we can run the print method and for circle we can also run the print method so let's try that out python composite.py ellipse circle Let's now create a composite, a composite one equals a composite graphic. Let's add the ellipse to the composite one. So composite one dot add ellipse one and we can run composite one dot print and that will 
then execute lips as print. There we go, lips. We can also create another composite. I'm going to call that composite two. And I'm going to add circle to composite two. And then I'm going to add, also add composite one to composite two. Composite one. And then I'm going to call composite twos print method, which will in turn call composite one's print method, which will call the ellipse print, and then composite two will also call the circle print. So let's try that out. Circle ellipse. The composite design pattern.